Hello, it's Lucas Bricks. Um, I'm here with uh, Brick and All the Way live for my first Brick and All the Way edition live stream because I have some fun holiday sets that I have been waiting to build. I've got um, Lego Little Elf Helpers, uh, ba -ba -ba, 40205. This set looks awesome. And little brother Oscar Bricks, if you are, I don't know, no, you're not. He built it. It looks really cool. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were. They seemed very well worth it for display holiday seasonal sets. And there's a second one I got here, which I also love, um, is the Lego, I don't know what this is, it's just Santa, it's Santa. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just calling it Santa, or Santa in his chair. I like Santa at the mall, but that's Santa. And on the back, he's got the little elf helpers with it too. They look pretty fun. I'm gonna start off with elves. So these guys are awesome. I also got my um, warm hot chocolatey somewhat beverage in my candy cane spoon. You can't have a holiday anything without your hot chocolate themed beverage in your candy cane spoon. These are delicious. They're by Wilton. I recommend them. They're really good. Now back to topic. Here is the little elf helpers. Oh look, we already have someone in the chat. It's the Brick Maniac. Welcome, Brick Maniac. And Brick Maniac is welcome to come on. Let me just search your name up on the thing. And then I press the button, and there you go. Okay. Bag one. They're not labeled. There's one. There's two. Oh, you can have the, the paint palette there. I'm assuming there's three. Oh, four. There you go. There you go. And instructions. They're stuck. Oh, there we go. All right. It seems each one tries to encourage you to buy the other, as you can see. Um, but I am starting with elves. Oh, I got some buzzing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I'm starting with the elves because they just seem pretty awesome. All right. I don't like when the instruction manuals come like unflattened and then you try and spend, try and get all the little vents there. It's the Lucas Brick Show. Brick Dudes is here. Stephen, hi. Welcome. How are you? Lucas Brick's live show. <laughs> See, I already started humming Christmas music. I didn't even know it. That's just what you do now. It's just your, just your, you know, regular Christmas music humming. And these are really good. Candy cane spoons. Buy both them. Go buy them because they're just delicious. You eat the spoon. Did I mention that? You can eat your own spoon. You put it in your hot chocolate and you just eat it. It's like delicious. Um, ba, ba, ba. yes, the struggle is um bad. It's, it's really bad. Brick dudes in his bed. <laughs> no Christmas music because it's copyright. That's true. I can't. Is humming copyright? I wonder if some guy just just said no. Don't hum. It's bad. The tune is not perfect, so maybe they won't get. All right, number one is out, and now we need, there's four, four bags, four bags. This set actually, for, I mean, $10 in the States, it's like 12 or 13 here, eleven ninety nine. so plus tax, which is very expensive here, where I live, 15%, something like that. It's around fifteen dollars, but there's a there's a lot of good pieces in here. You've got the paintbrush, which they include an extra one of. Um, your paint palette. They have the eye the eyeball pieces that are printed, and a few other little knickknacks and trinkets here and there. Lots of gold pieces. This one has lots of gold studs. And there we go. This one's got some interesting stuff. 
No! I don't like when that happens. All fixed. Hold on, let me just pick the pieces up from the floor. Not one, is that it? I think that's it. Okay, I found the pieces. Hoy. <laughs> Alrighty. It looks like we start with this elf here, who I will name Susie. Starting off with Susie the elf, and the other one will be uh, Fred, because that's just really honestly what I chose from off the top of my head. Fred and Susie will be <laughs> the two elves here. That was completely random, but they look like a Fred and Susie. Um, as I turn the page, I will sip some more hot chocolate beverage. Beverage. With my candy cane spoon that I highly recommend. <laughs> um, now we build, we build, um, bleh. we're building in the chair. The, the chair? The chair. The chair is what I'm building. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I hope to get open the holiday train, open that set up. I can't find the, I have all the power functions, but one of the motors for the actual, uh, the wheel kind of cart that you connect the wheels to, that has the wire attached to it, I can't find it. I know I have it. It is in my Lego room somewhere. It is there somewhere. I can guarantee it, but I cannot find it. And I wanted it to go around my Christmas tree. And I don't really want to pay another however much money it costs to get it. I got all my, most of my power functions from the old Lego red, red passenger train. That was an awesome set. The Country Brick Man joined us. He hasn't come on for a while. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now this part of the build is really interesting. If you noticed in maybe some reviews, the little elf, uh, the little socks are all striped. Red, green, and white. They just look hilarious. I love them. I love these seasonal builds because they look just, just comedically funny. I find they look just like the Santa. I love how the mustache is made with the like night feather pieces. And then these guys have like the floppy Santa hats with the giant eyes compared to the rest of them. <laughs> They're just really great. I love them for that. But some people, quite a few people don't like them for their not accurate proportions and play value. But hmm, you have to be creative and use your imagination. That is what Lego is all about in most cases. Unless you're building like a really big, cool, fancy structure that cannot be touched. Um, Country Rickman asks, what am I building? I am building the little, little elf helpers. I think I got the name right. Little elf helpers. I go seasonal set, and then if I have time, I will go and head go ahead and build the sample. And tomorrow you can come back for the holiday train build. That's gonna be a fun one. But I need to search for that motor. Oh my computer just started making fan noises. We have Brick Lover225 who has joined us. Welcome, Brick Lover225. Thank you for stopping by. And like I just told the country brick man, I am building a little, a little elf helper set, which is pretty fun. All right, now we attach Susie's skirt to her legs. I think these are pretty hard to get them off their chairs. I'm kind of like building the, the, the characters onto their chair. 
I hope they're comfortable because they won't be moving for a while. Alright. There is the first elf's legs in their little dress skirt. I am good, work lover 225. I am good. Oh, and we have um, uh, Avoke, Avoke, Avoki, Avo, uh, Avoki. Is it? I always, I can't, I always used to say Avoki, but I think it's Avok. Am I right? Let me know. But he's here. He always comes, and it's great to have him here. Is it Avok? I think it is. Because I was watching your videos, and I heard the the hey guys, it's a Vok here, but I'm not sure if I'm a Vok. Okay, that's my final that's my final answer that I'm locking in. A Vok. Am I saying no, not a Vok. A Voki? With the with the, the I? Or just I don't know. I will figure out soon. Uvaki. 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 Uvaki? Yes? I think so. I think I got it, guys. All right. Now I will proceed building. Was I just like staring into the screen there for a really long time? I was trying to do something on the computer. I hate when that <laughs> when I look back and then I'm like clicking at the computer and it looks like I'm staring into like nothing. I think it's Avaki. Avaki. I think I got it. I think. I feel bad because I haven't got the, the name right in like forever. Avaki. 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 I can't get that stuck in my head because if it's wrong. <laughs> then I will never say it good. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue on with the build. Um, I'm building the kind of backish of the chair. That's really cool. Hey, it's the Brick Maniac. Hello. Welcome to the building holiday. No, the holiday building stream. Well, I'm happy to be here. Oh, well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. All right. Have you, Bill? I'm not, I forget. Did you get the holiday train? No. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not my cup of tea. I don't, uh, it's not, it doesn't look good in my opinion. It is fairly small for the price. I find they, they should have added a bit more. Yeah, I can't justify that price. Um, I have been, like, searching all over my Lego room for this little train motor piece that you attach the wheels on to yeah. to make it kind of go, and I cannot find it. I have been, like, I tore my room apart, and I know I have it somewhere, but I really want to make it go around my Christmas tree, like, by itself. Yeah. Oh, and uh, a tip too: if you're gonna run it a lot, run it at very slow speeds because that'll just save the motors, uh, the battery in the motor, and the motor's uh, gears that's inside of it. So. Ah. Uh, good tip. Yep, I have. Um, no, I know that from experience. So trust me, it'll la it'll make the motor last a lot longer. It'll probably, uh, going slow would probably also look slightly better for, like, displaying purposes instead of a high-speed fat, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's also more realistic, too, though, because steam engines don't go that fast. That's true. Certain ones, at least. Uh, we have, um, uh, Glenn Bricks. In oh, the Glenn. Chat. Glenn Bricks. Long, yeah, long bricks. I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> and three, two. 
I'm too far away from my screen. 323 Ease Bricks says hi. Interesting name, but uh, nevertheless, hi. Uh, yeah. And Avaki, I sent you an invite if you would like to come on. Just a little, um, I wish I had something Lego to do right now. Unfortunately, I don't, though. I'm actually working on my model railroad, but... <laughs> That's still cool. I like those. I've seen them in a lot of places. They look pretty cool. Yeah, they're really cool. It's fun. Uh, mine's uh, fairly small, but it's fun to have a small one. I've seen, um, I think I probably already told you this already, at the the local, like, children's hospital, they have this huge model tra uh, um, railroad display. And, awesome. Um, yeah, it's, like, enclosed in this big glass case, and on all the walls on the outside, the kids can come up and press the buttons on the outside, which, like, will activate the trains and make the lights go on the inside. It's really fun. I should take, like, a video of it sometime. Yeah, sounds cool. Um, I've seen something like that, but or at least I've heard of something where they, um, where you put a quarter inside of uh, a machine and then it runs the trains. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Except the problem is it costs money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hopefully it puts on a good show. Yeah. <laughs> if everything is awesome TV, who has joined us? Oh, hello. I haven't um, seen him for a while, except um, I think he was on the trivia showdown. He was in the chat. Yes, that was a, that was a great great entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and I I got nervous at the end too though because uh well I'm a super competitive person myself and for teams that were just people who win so I was really nervous and I really wanted uh, uh James uh Cool Kid Bricks to win and he did win so that's awesome but yeah so far my bracket um is right yeah me too see this is what I thought I was like okay I think James will know more than Bricksmith because from what I've seen. Bricksmith doesn't really have too much knowledge with Lego, but. <laughs> He's got a lot of, uh, I think he has lots of classic stuff, though. Which is yeah. Cool. See, I, I have Bricksar winning the whole entire thing, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, I have TMX as my trophy champion. Yeah, I think. B.A. could win the whole entire thing now that I think about it, but. B.A. could win. I have Brickstar, not because I like one person more than the other, but I was just thinking realistically. Yeah, me too. Um, I do think that Brick, um, sorry, Brickstar will beat Brick Adjuster. Yeah, me too. That I just, uh, but then again, you don't know because, uh, <laughs> You can never really predict those kind of thing or those kinds of things because um, they one team or th it kind of works with sports. You know, one team could be winning the whole entire season and then they lose in the last game. Well, yeah, that's true. So it it could be something like that, which I hope I really hope Brickstar wins though. But then again, that's just them. Um, it's a fun thing. Whoever wins, I'm happy for them. It doesn't. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, like tonight, that was like a big, really close and close win. Yeah. Oh, Avoki's here. Hello. Or hey. I think I said your name wrong. What is it? Uh... It's Avaki. 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 Okay. Yep. Awesome. awesome. Welcome so to. So thank you, Lucas Briggs, for um inviting me. No problem. Um. Everything is awesome TV. I am building the little Lego little elf helpers and I'm nearly hold on just about done first one. Yeah, it looks awesome. It <laughs> looks uh pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's a cute little build. Everything is awesome TV. I haven't awesome. talked to him in a while. Yeah, I know. He, um, uh, yeah, sorry, lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Avaki, have you been working on any any mocks or any interesting? Yep, anything? I've been working on a lot, like um, a ski slope one for my Christmas builds on my channel, and a like Arctic explorer dog sled maybe. Oh, okay, cool. And an ice themed bionicle, but I don't know when that's going to be done. That sounds great. Lots of, um, sounds like lots of cool things are on the way, in the making. Yep. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, indeed. All right, now I'm on to the little second elf here, who I've randomly named Fred off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, my. He just kind of looks like a Fred. Well, that, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And... How much did the elf set that you got cost on Lego? I haven't checked. Um, Canadian, I think it's eleven ninety nine. American, it's nine ninety nine. Ah, uh, cool. I find their worth, like for the pieces that they come with, and they're pretty display worthy creation. I think it's worth the money. Yeah, especially for like a gift to someone. To just pay ten dollars for for someone who likes Lego is a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Yeah, it is. Do you have the um, what's it called from last year? I'm pretty sure the Santa's visit set. I have oh. yeah, I have the Santa's visit set in the winter fun. I think it's called. Yeah, those ones are awesome. Yeah, those ones are pretty cool. I like the uh, the vignette style build that they did last year. And then February, they started with the whole kind of character development, you know what I mean, with the Valentine's Day dog. Yep. At first, I was kind of like, eh, they're not as good. But I I have been liking them. I love the Halloween one, the vampire, and the it was just like like a hilarious build to to, to look at. They're very not hilarious. That's a little exaggerating, but they're I don't know. They're just fun and like I don't know what the word humorous. Their their expressions are really cool. <laughs> Indeed, they're really awesome. I wonder, I mean, like, it seems like they've been kind of going with a different theme every year. Like, one year it's the little vignettes. One year, I guess this year, it is the kind of character builds. So this will probably be our last few for this year. I wonder what they're kind of, if they stick to these themes, what, what it will be in January or February. Yeah. And they had the the Easter chick, I think, was the, the Easter one. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I didn't get that one, but that, that one looked pretty good. Did yeah. you like the Thanksgiving one? I didn't get that one either, um, but, but that one did look pretty good. It wasn't one of my favorites. I find it was kind of not too blocky, but it wasn't... Um, as detailed as the other ones. 
Plus, I don't think it came out, but Canadian Thanksgiving was back way before Halloween. And then they didn't really start kind of showing up till, you know, November-ish. Yeah. But it is a pretty good set. So you said that you like Star Wars Rebels? I do, yeah. It's a pretty good show. I like kind of... I like the storyline to follow. Even with each individual episode being really good, I like the um, the the story that kind of follows along. Yeah. We have Big Sue Bricks in the chat, and I sent you an invite to Mashu Bricks if you would like to hop on. And I'm building Ooh. a little elf helper set. Who's your favorite character? Favorite cur- oh from from Rebels, yeah. Um oh gosh, I'm not sure. I like. I'm not gonna go with Ezra just because he's like the main character or anything, but yeah. I like the droids. I like Chopper. He's funny. Um, I'm not. I, like, in the past, don't really know much about Grand Admiral Thrawn, so I can't really say, oh, yeah, he's a great character. But, uh, I don't know. Favorite character? This is a hard question. Um, I guess I never thought about it. I like Hera because, like, her... I think it's a good character with, like, good kind of story. As for, like, comed- like comedy character, I like Chopper. Yeah, I like um, Chopper, Zeb, and Hera. Yeah, those are good, good choices. Those are pretty good. By the way, sorry if you hear any background noises. There's, like, four cats here. There's what? Four cats. Okay. Um, but, 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 uh, Big Super says he needs to get caught up on Star Wars Rebels, and he can hop on, but can't really talk at the moment. People are sleeping. Uh, he can use his action skills. You want to can send oh send the link you want. Okay. <laughs> I can't seem to get this piece off. Bear with me here for a sec, and he's not building. Oh, there we go. Oh, Glenn says he's making a mock too. Glenn, what new mock are you up to? Great to know. <laughs> All right. Got pieces off here. So, Big C Brooks, did you say I could send the the link to your email? Hold on. Sorry, I was muted. I'm uh, currently trying to figure out something for the model railway again. <laughs> ah. Laying down some scenery, I figured out a new, I guess this is kind of, I fi- figured out um, an easier way. I guess, I know this isn't really uh, relevant, but I'll show it. Oh, my hair's a mess. <laughs> but, uh, so, got the trees all over the place because I, I just removed them. Basically, I just made, uh, kind of made a little hole through this fabric. And then there's a, uh, as you can see, there's a base that's on here. And I just put it underneath this 
And now it's on top of here, and it looks like a normal tree without the base. So, oh, that looks yes, awesome. And then I thank you. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not busy with Lego at the moment, but what is that for? Oh, it's a model railroad. Cool. All right. Thanks, Brits. The message is sent to private messages. Yeah, Brit Maniac. That um, the model railroad. The, sorry, model train <laughs> looks pretty cool. Thank you. I love how um, I always see the little miniature miniature trees and benches and little. Things like that at um at Michael's, they look really cool. They surprisingly look like when you add them to one of those scenes, just really realistic compared to everything else. Yeah, I always thought those like look pretty neat. Yeah, it's a it's a hobby that I've been into for a while. It's just um I haven't I haven't really been doing it as often as I would like to. Uh, but now I'm I'm getting back into it more. But that that uh, that being said, it doesn't mean that I'm done with Lego. I'm still I'm doing both. Yeah, well, it's a great combination because they're I guess I I don't want to say the same, but fairly similar. Like yeah, and that, building construction. Yeah, and it's fun too though because um, Lego all the time. I'm not saying it can get kind of boring. Especially with the prices. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't I haven't been doing much Lego lately because uh, I don't really have any mock ideas or anything like that. So. Uh, um. Everything Awesome TV was asking about who's looking forward to the Batman CMFs. I'm looking forward to the bat suits. I think those look good, especially the fairy one, which is just hilarious. But I love it. I think they're, I don't like the idea of them having 20 CMFs. I find that's just a little, I don't know. I think that's a bit much because you can get most of the, not most of them, but quite a few of the characters in similar outfits in just like the, the regular sets. Um, but I do like all the bat suits. I would have liked more. Which I think a lot of people thought, but they they look pretty good. Yeah, I I agree with you. I do. I like them, but the pri I can't uh, justify it with the price. The price is just too much for the CMS. Yeah, they're supposed to be well here in the U.S. They're supposed to be five dollars. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'm probably only be getting. I didn't hear that. I'm probably only gonna be getting a few then. Yeah, they're just too much. I think I, I might. I'm probably gonna get some, but uh, probably not too much. I will probably feel out for the different bat suits, possibly some of the villain characters, but that'll probably be it. Yeah, they're do. It's just upsetting how expensive it is. I wonder why they would... I mean, like... Like, I think now, if they're going to be $5, why weren't the Disney CMFs with whole brand new molds and prints and faces weren't more? When this one, I guess, were... I don't know. I found like Disney one's more exclusive where they already used the other molds and things for the Batman movie. Yeah. Right. Honestly, I don't know. Um, Glenn says, if Maniac, you should do a YouTube channel for your model railroad. Well, Glenn, that is already there. It's uh, called Maniacs, Trains, and More. Haven't really done anything on the model railroad, 
But yes, I do have a channel for that. Awesome. I use the channel for other train things right now. But yeah, I actually what happened is I had a channel. Uh, I actually had multiple channels. I don't know why I have multiple. Honestly, I I just <laughs> I don't know. It, but uh, I actually switched it over, so it was that one that I hadn't used before. And then there there was one that had like 33 subscribers, and I and I wasn't using that one, so I just decided to to switch that over to Maniac Trains and more because part some of the Lego community was subscribed to that one, so it was a channel that somebody that I know didn't use so didn't use anymore. But it's all good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I finished Fred the Elf. There he is. Oh, yeah. I really Fred like the, the nose and the chair and stuff. Looks really yeah, funny. The chair looks good from the back, too. It's all golden. Yeah. And Big Sue Bricks says he's coming on now. Good to hear back from Big Sue Bricks. Yep. And guess what, Brick Maniac? This set includes the almighty band hammer. My first Yay. one. <laughs> Who could it be? Hello. It's Big C Brooks. Welcome back. <laughs> I haven't been on one of these things for a while. No, it's been so I know. long. Is this the, the first stream since a long time? Yeah. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? No, we're not that far away. Um, oh, our toy world joined the chat. We have lots of new people coming on, which is good. Mm -hmm. Um, Matt, have you been up to any new mocks or any, um, interesting things? <laughs> nope, not really. Um, one mock, but you guys have probably seen it already. Uh, it's Mosaic. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so. that is cool. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, me either. I don't know. Yeah. That's cool. Um, no, I'm not sure, but Matt, are you going to Philly? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, figure out everyone's going. I know, Brick Maniac, you're going. Yeah. And Matt's Mox is, yes, going? He's going. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. And a lot of the AFOL members are going. Yeah, actually, Bricksmith isn't, though, because, uh, you know, his uh, kid is expected around that time, but... Oh, okay, I heard that on the, uh, the stream today, and I was wondering, oh, I thought he's, like, the Philly... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm happy for him and all, but I was getting kind of sad, because that means I'm not going to meet him... <laughs> So. I know I want to see all of this. I, I wanted to see the colorful modulars and Death Star and all those. Yep, but there is always the year after, which then again, with my grandparents, because we have relatives in Philly, this could become a reoccurring thing if I'm lucky. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I have because it's, always, it's around my birthday every single time, so that could be like my birthday present. That'd be awesome. Yeah. All right. Oh, our toy will join. Hey, hey, Richie. Hello, hello. Big Sue, long time no talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Yeah, you are. And I like your Iowa mock or mosaic. Oh, thank you. My cousin goes there, and I may be visiting him soon. Yeah, they're my favorite uh, college football team, so. 
How far away is Iowa from where you live? Let me see. Like to the border, probably like a good half hour away. Oh, so you're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody from my high school goes to Iowa for college or Illinois, so I might go there. Who knows? Yeah, it's a good school. Oh, Lucas, what? Yeah, it is a good school. Yeah. Lucas, what are you building tonight? I am building the Lego Little Elf Helpers, and I think that's all I'm going to be building for tonight. Cool. Guess what? I have some good news. So I can't go to Philly because I can't miss a, a couple days of school, or else I'll be like, I'll be in like, it just I just can't miss a couple days of school because it's that important. But I, my parents can tell me, told me that I can go to Brick Road, Chicago, and just play there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. yeah. So my parents said that if I this year if I can go to Brick Road, Chicago, and if I can stay there on Saturday and Sunday all day displaying and not get bored of it. Then they'll cons highly consider sending me to Philly next year. Oh, that's awesome. Because they want to make sure that I'm able not to get bored. Like, be able to see if I can withstand sitting at a table for a few hours each day. Yeah. The, the thing is with me, you know, doing a collab mock, that's going to be pretty easy. Oh, yeah, of course. Because then you guys can guard the table at different times. Yeah. Yeah, it's so then, like, yeah, you can have, like, short, like, breaks and yeah it's pretty nice actually yeah, yeah but I'm excited about going because it turns out a lot more people than I know this year since I now met a lot more people who are actually going to be going there so it'll be sort of like Philly but you know not exactly like Philly but there will still be a lot of people I know I know um are Brick Dudes and Brick Plays still going yeah, I think Brick Dude said he was going to present it. I know he's, I think he's going to Philly, but I definitely know he's going to uh, Brick Road, Chicago. I think there's a high chance of Brick Boys going. And then, of course, Rebel Lug is there, and there's some Ninjago YouTubers that I know that are going. Okay. So, all is well. All is well. Awesome. Yeah, I'm thinking about making uh, a Lego city of Tenochtitlan. Which is like an Aztec city. And I made one before in seventh grade, but this time I'm gonna make a bigger one. So that is cool. So, uh, Lucas, it's confirmed that you're going to Philly or no? It is. We uh, just um, we got our tickets online, and our little glow zone packs came in. So there's no turning back now. And hello, Sorry, I'm oh, you. yeah, I got Sorry. I got some trouble with uh, Google Hangouts and stuff. It's being really laggy. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, with the speaking of the glow zone packs, yeah, I got I got mine too. But um, since my grandparents are going. Uh, you know, because they're taking me to Philly, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I made little brick crusting figs for them. That's <laughs> what I'm going to do with my family. We got four packs. I thought we were only going to get one. Yeah, I, I have got a question. four as well. I have a question, yeah. Lucas. Here's a oh. face reveal. Face reveal? Huh? Face reveal. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> a cat. That's a cat. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm blind. <laughs> I cannot tell the difference between a cat and a dog. Hey, Lucas, I have a question. Yeah? Could you, uh, if you have your glow zone set, set uh, handy near you, could would you mind showing me? Uh, sure. I just need to go grab it. Oh, sorry. I just really want to see what it's like. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, it Quill Brick Maniac? Yeah, it was fun to build. Um, I got three of them, but I only built one, and I'm using the parts for everything else. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hey, Archer World. Hey, Avoki. <laughs> Is that how I say your name? Um, it's Avoki. Yeah, you Avoki, did it well. All right. Big Sue, you can drive? Mm-hmm. I'm so jealous. Here in Illinois, we can't start uh, even get a permit till 15. 
<laughs> yeah, my my cousin in Alaska, he's like fifteen, I think. Yeah, fifteen and driving. So. Well, permanent. But... Um, I have my gloves on. I have a big bag of stuff. Hold on. I got this from BrickQuest. It was just like in this big bag of stuff I had. I sent my mom. She went to Boston on like a wild goose chase all over the targets for it, and she couldn't find them. And I just got this in the mail, and I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is the Glow Zone kit. It's just in a bag, and there is like a little, I don't know, is that a black light to make it glow? That's so cool. Wait, Lucas, I have a question. Yes. What are you going to be building for uh, Philly? Because I know Brick Maniac is doing some trains. Yep. Mine are all built and just waiting until I actually have to display them. <laughs> You're just going to have to take a little little uh, container with, which is nice for transport. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, fortunately, my, my grandpa, he takes a, it's like a... I don't know what it would be like a sat uh, like a pretty decent carry on size and he he offered to let me put some stuff in there too which which is that's awesome, awesome. yeah yeah it's nice it, it worked out perfectly that there was another uh, group like Brixar TMBB and Matt that let, that are letting you put your trains with in their in their collab oh yeah Richie to answer your question too about um because I know you weren't sure if we were doing the collab. See, we are. It's just the only thing is it might not be as big as we were planning because the table space wasn't available. But ah, I see. Yeah. So, Lucas, what are you going to be bringing? Um, that's kind of to be determined. But one thing I'm planning on is to build um an Italian market kind of street, maybe corner. I want to take my Italian restaurant. Um, but go further with it and maybe build like a whole kind of street ish. That'd be cool, like a little Italy. Yeah. Um, if it'll work, if it doesn't work, I want to bring some Disney stuff. My dream mock is to build a Disney cruise. <laughs> look cool, but I, that would be expensive. So I don't know if that's going to work out. Well, that, that, would cost a, that would cost a fortune. Yeah, especially if it's like really big. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um. Actually, guess what? Uh, do you guys know who Brick One Hundred One is on YouTube? Yep. Guess what? I'm gonna meet him tomorrow. Oh really? Yeah, Brick Loot. So they're in my town. You know, they're having a meet and greet with him because he came out with a new book, and he lives in downtown Chicago. So you know, it's like a twenty minute drive away from like downtown Chicago to the Brick Loot store. So he's gonna be going there for a book signing. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to get a meet him and get his book. I don't know why, but Hangouts is giving me lots of trouble. It keeps saying, unfortunately, Google Play services have stopped. Uh, and they keep kicking me. Yeah, I haven't had that problem, but I know Hangouts Hangouts can be a real pain. Yeah. This is like the day of like everybody who left is coming back. We have Everything is awesome in the chat. <laughs> Big Sue on stream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Richie, I wanted to show you another thing. In the glow zone, um, you get... Oh, came with the torso? Yeah. This is cool. Oh, hold on. That's cool. Brooke, What's the torso? I think, I think Brickworld might have an exclusive torso as well. Of course, well, Brickworld, I don't think, will be as good as... Uh, Philly, but there's gonna be some different things like Brick World, like Philly, like most like, uh, you know, there's like different, like Brick World. There's gonna be Rebel Lug there, and then some people that live in Chicago, you know, so that'll be yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, the thing I is, think that, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Sorry, Hi. I'm not sure, but you know, you get the big. I don't know what it's called. Uh, the big kind of loot bag of things um, when you get to Philly. Yeah. I think they include a lot more of these breakfast torsos from what I saw last year. But I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, I, think, but, I think I think what happens is um, every person who registered gets the bag, so that means they also get the torso. And I'm pretty sure... Um, 
it's uh, an exclusive Philly breakfast uh, kind of torso. Yeah, you guys are going to be getting bags, trust me, I think. And also, uh, Lucas, I have a question. Yeah. Have you ever been to a legal convention before? I have not. Um, there was a small Lego and train kind of convention, not really, that came here once. I'm oh, was it the traveling show? It wasn't real, no. Was it a train so show? Is like, Philly like the nearest convention for you? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I haven't really looked into many. I'm not really near anything. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, Brick conventions look like fun. It would require more than a two-hour plane ride. Yeah, for me, it was kind of hard to convince my parents to go to Philly because they're like, we literally have Brick World Chicago like 25 minutes away. Like, Oh, wow, that's awesome. Like, to be honest, I left the morning of Brick Road, Chicago, like, 30 minutes before it opened, and I got there, like, five minutes. I need to wait in line for, like, like five minutes before it opened. Okay. And that kind of would be going to Starbucks in the morning, because my mom wanted coffee. So, like, <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty quick drive, to say the least. Yeah. So, I'm hoping to prove to my parents that I can wait out this year and prove to them that I know what I'm doing, and that I honestly want to go to Philly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the thing with um other Brickfest conventions, uh, you know, related to Brickfest like Brickfest Anaheim, uh, all those other ones, I don't even yeah. know. I don't even know how you register to display a mock because. <laughs> they don't yeah. Really same them. here. And up, Mister H. Hello. Yeah. What I'm what I'm probably gonna do. Is... Oh, sorry. What? I'll get my camera set up. So give me a few minutes. Oh, no worries. Um, yeah, what what I'm probably going to do is at Philly, I'll ask Chad uh, how that works because I want to display Anaheim as well. But Yeah. I'm going uh, uh, to try to find uh, the BrickFest like, email and I'm going to email them because I'm interested in doing a uh, I want to display at Brickfest Chicago. Oh, they have that? Yeah, they had it last year on October 4th, 2015. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what might happen, though, is uh, this actually happened to me. I remember now. Brickfest Anaheim is not happening this year. It's yeah. It's in a different place in California, and it's in Pasadena instead. And it's in Pasadena and Sacramento instead of Anaheim. But. Yeah, that's the thing. For me, though... If it's going to be in Illinois again, it's going to be half to be in Chicago. Like, they're not going to put it in Peoria or Rockford. Like, they're going to put it in Chicago because that's, like, the main central hub. They had it in Rosemont, which is, like, 15 minutes away from my house. Hmm. And I was actually going to go to it. But the thing was, the tickets itself were cheap. But the parking the parking tickets were way more expensive than to go to the actual convention. And that day I wasn't feeling the best, so I stayed home. I went on my iPad and I made a video, and that's the reason why I'm here today. Hmm. Because if I hadn't made that video, I wouldn't have it on my channel. So <sighs> I guess it's a good thing I didn't go to Brick Fest. Yeah. <laughs> it all worked out in the end, I guess. Yeah. Richie, you've been growing a lot. I don't know how it has in. I don't, I don't know. One of my videos had like 7,000 views, a news video. And I'm what just I've doing all news. Yeah, what I've noticed is, my, well, my channel, first of all, is hit. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not really doing this for the views or anything. It's just for fun. But I've noticed that it's it's been stuck. And that I think that's because, uh, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, most channels that are, Lego channels that are growing right now, are channels that have videos uh, of just pictures, basically. Yeah. Like, the funny thing is, like, my news Ultimate, video, Ultimate Bricks has grown. I mean, that's his credit because he's really good. With, he's got good camera quality and everything, but he's been growing so fast. Yeah, but also, uh, no, no offense to him, but... Um, and not not saying this in a bad way, just saying that uh, he he got like twenty subs in like two days because Brick Worlds in his giveaway, um, he uh, he shouted him out and said, "If you want another entry, you gotta subscribe to him." But I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying it in a good way because no, he deserves more subs than he has. Yeah, no, he's 
he produces a lot of videos, and I don't know how he does it. Yeah, he has way more videos than me, and he's been, and Brick Mania, guess how long he's been doing YouTube since? Like, what, like July? At, end of May, like almost June. <clears throat> yeah. That's he posts, like, near, almost daily Lego content. No, he posts daily for sure, but. Yeah, he has been posting daily for, like, a, a month now. Yeah, I don't, I, with uh, monthly stuff, I don't have enough things to film for. I don't know how he does it, because he, he goes to school, he has a busy schedule, but he finds time to do it. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I had, I wish I could, like, make that many videos as he did. Yeah. He just has a drive for making videos, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm just like, I wish I was that, like that. Like, to be honest, like, 15, fit, no, 50 of my videos are, like, videos from, like, Washington, D.C. When I first started my channel, and I told, like, 20 people from my school to subscribe to me. Hmm. Like, my first 50 subscribers were, like, probably at least half of them were, like, kids from my school. And the other half were just, like, random people. <laughs> like, not even Lego YouTubers. Then I started doing Lego YouTube, and it started taking off. Oh, Maniac, how's the Brickling store going? I uh, haven't been selling anything, but I feel like, uh, Lucas, do you, do you have any uh, other things to say? Um, just to get back on track here. Any other things to say? No, um, I do only have about five-ish so minutes, because it's nearly like 11.30 here. All right, do you oh want to uh, close out? Uh, Miss Rage, nope. nice Christmas tree. Cool. Did you get rid of the city? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's my little spare table. Oh, uh, I see. Are you going to Philly, Mr. H? I don't know yet. Hmm. What did he say? He doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know? Yeah. Hands on mm -hmm. the money. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. expensive. It's really expensive. I'm just, just lucky. I'm just lucky that the event actually starts on my birthday, so it's a birthday present, which is a huge. That's birthday. your birthday present, sweet. Oh. Yeah, and um, and I have family in Philly, so it totally works out. So it worked out perfectly, pretty much. Yeah, I'm so back. My, grand my grandparents, if they want to see, uh, you know, family too, we even me too, we can go down there and. See them too, but yeah, it, it all. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It literally worked out perfect for you, dude. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I never thought I was gonna be able to go to Philly. Yeah, I remember you were talking like April of last year. Like Lucas was like, my long term plan is to go to Philly in like 2021, and then Brick Maniac's like, I I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to go to Philly. Like, that's never gonna happen. Yep. But and look what happened. On the screen. What? There's a lot of people here. Yes, there are. Oh, that's a cool glowing uh, tree there with all those lights. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome, Mr. H. Have you shown it to Bricksmith? <laughs> He's following on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks really awesome. I wish I had a Lego Christmas tree that big. Yeah. 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 Big Sue, how's the Brooklyn store going? What? How's the Brooklyn store going? Going good. Yeah. I still need to buy something from there. Close yeah, the uh, for a while. Yeah, I'm, I gotta. I don't know if I'm gonna close mine or. I just haven't been making sales, but that's okay because I didn't. Uh, I just kind of put things out there. You know, I I didn't want it, and. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, the stuff that I have left isn't really too um, interesting, but... Yeah. As Big B says, however much you put in, you'll get out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me add my picture to the Instagram story. Does, does everyone's little channel logo mind being on Instagram? 
Oh, nope. I don't. Not really. I just wish my uh, logo here was like my actual channel logo of my uh, Christmas sig fig. But for some reason, it's my really old channel logo with the uh, Vaki mask. Wow. I bet you you could change that. Is it changed on your, your Gmail? Hmm, yeah, I bet it is, but it doesn't really matter if you uh, put that on. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, Lucas, uh, thanks again for having me. I'm going to stay, but thanks for having me on. Oh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming. It ended up us getting a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I really like doing live streams. Yeah, it's fun coming on. Oh, uh... Gosh, I gotta check who's hosting next week for TNDS. If not, I'll go ahead and host. I haven't hosted in a while. The thing is with me though is, uh, I since I don't usually, um, my my planning is very bad, so I have to, or I can't really improvise, so I have to, you know, know if I'm hosting or not. Um, let's see here, nobody is hosting for this week, so I'll take that. And I'll make a plan for it. So, unless somebody else wants to host. Oh, you know what, Mr. H? Uh, Where is Matt tonight? I had church. I'm sorry, what, Mr. H? Schedule. Yeah, um, but let me know if you, you can host, because um, if so, we'd love to have you host. Yeah, we would. That'd be cool. Oh, guys, um, this Thursday, so I won't be able to come. No I'm hosting the Thursday before Christmas. Okay. Ooh, that should be fun. I think it's the 22nd. Because I remember at the beginning of the year, I'm still in the schedule for it. I'm like, I want it right before Christmas. So, yeah, I'll be doing that day. Cool. So, with me, no. Who not this Thursday coming, but the next Thursday. Is that... I'll have to check. Next, oh, I got it. I got it. Um, next Thursday... Um, so, this Thursday is undecided, but uh, like we said, if Mr. H, if his schedule works out, then he can host. Uh, the 22nd is Richie, and then, which is the next week, the following uh, week after uh, the 15th, which is next week. And then Matt is the last one for 2016, which is the 29th. And wow, then, that's crazy. Yeah, we, oh my gosh, we have to, we have to make some schedules for who's going to host in uh, January, because. <laughs> yeah, Matt's in there, he said, we'll bring you after one year. But I think we're going to continue this into 2017, I think. Yeah, if it, if it goes well, which it has been, uh. Seems like uh, we can continue it. Yeah, it does really well on all, on all of our channels. Like it seems like we already we always have viewers, usually. Yeah, I, I just wish that um, I could stream on the Brick Maniac. Yeah, then it would be so much more popular on your channel. Yeah, because then I could, you know, uh, you know, get some live streams, get some people that usually don't know that I stream on there. So. I honestly remember in August us saying, oh, maybe we should get through this month before we plan for January, and here we are. So, <laughs> <laughs> Not a long way. Remember how this stream even started? It was like, Matt was having some, like, stream on a Thursday night, and, like, we all just happened to be on, so. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Hey, Lucas. You have uh, the carbon freezing chamber set, right? I do. I have it too, yeah, it's a good set. It is? Okay. Well, it's like um, $16 on Amazon. So. I might have to pick up another one then. You'd have to like, pay, you pay more than normally, $16 if you bought all the figures individually. Gee, wow. It's normally 30 right? Or 24 maybe 25 I don't know. 20 yeah, I think it's 30 here. 25 in the wow. city. 
Well, then sixteen dollars is a really, really good deal. Yeah, that's it. It is. And I really like I really like Boba Fett. So getting a really detailed Boba Fett minifigure, uh, not as detailed as the UCS version with the arm printing, but still, it's pretty awesome. Plus, we get carbon bruising block thing. Oh, hey, Brick Mania, guess what? What? This year, me, my dad and I were about to set up the uh, the Christmas train around our Christmas tree. Awesome. Is it, uh, is it a model train? Yeah, it's a model train. What scale? Uh, I don't know what the scale is, but it's Lionel. Oh, oh, that's old scale. Okay. It's old scale? Old scale. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, is it, is it really big? <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty big. Yeah, that's okay. Train around the Christmas tree is pretty cool. It is, it is. Oh, also ours, guess what? It blows smoke. Whoa, yeah, that's, 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 that's awesome. That's, that's <laughs> definitely O scale uh, DCC. Is it, do you is have it, model trains? Yeah, is it, um, is it, do you have like a, a digital, a remote, a handheld remote, basically? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's DCC. DCC and sound. And smoke. That's, that's a pretty expensive model. Yeah, well, my dad, uh, back when I was born, he was building some ba- uh, some tables in our basin to have a model railroad. But it never really happened. But we still have the trains and all that, so. Do you have model trains? Yes, I am actually working on that right now. I'm working on the scenery. Like non-Lego? Yeah. Sir, maybe I have trains and more account will actually be used for like non Lego trains. Well, it's used for filming train. You know, well, we I call it, uh, well actually it's called rail fanning, but it's like me filming the trains as they go by and stuff like that. And it's then awesome. the, mod- the model train stuff, it's coming. I just have to wait till after Christmas, so uh, it gets a little bit more developed. Uh, uh is it also happening in your garage slash your Lego room? Yes, I actually. <laughs> Surprisingly, I have a lot of space in here. Luckily. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for tonight because the you have to go to bed. clock has struck 11.30. Not yet. I still have to go clean up all the Lego now. <laughs> but, um, Just one last thing. I have for today. Uh, Lucas? Yeah. You got the trains that the, like, um train set from this year the christmas one right i do are you gonna make are you gonna like put a motor in it and make it uh work i am i just have to find my um my motor that actually physically goes in the train with the the wheel connections i don't know what that's called but i need to go find that somewhere all right cool i should be start building it tomorrow so be sure to stay tuned and Thank you to everyone who came. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thank you. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.